there's, there's something we need to talk about. Well, say it, Sam. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's been pretty lonely round here since Mum died, hasn't it? Well, your mother was... I was saying she was saying chaos. I know, Dad, and I, and I know you've been trying to carry on without her, but, well, I thought I'd begin to make some inquiries. <laughs> Inquiries? Yeah, because, Dad, there are places, you see, where they can make things easier. Easier for both of us, in a way. Oh. Hear me out, OK? Uh, I found a great place where they make you your meals, you can meet all sorts of other interesting people, and if you need anything in the night, someone will come and help you. Right, I see. So, wh what, I, what I want to say, Dad, is I'm putting myself in a home. <laughs> You're 42. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I've tried to stick it around here. It's just not working for me anymore. You can't cook. You don't iron. You're not up to cleaning my room. You, you just sleep all day. I'm old. <laughs> it's not your fault. I understand that. But at, at Sunshine Lodge, they do all the washing. They run you bars. And you know, I've always loved Canasta. I, I thought we was managing. Be realistic, Dad. You can't even drive anymore. At this place, they've got vans to take me everywhere with all my friends. So this is it, then? Oh, Dad, you can come and visit if you like. I, I mean, I might be in bed when you call, but they'll ring a little bell and I'll get up. Thing is, it does cost. Uh, I've written the figure down. Look, well, pop on your reading glasses. Stone the crows. <laughs> I know, it's a scandal, but this level of care doesn't come cheap. Well, how are we going to afford that? I don't know. What about getting a job? That's good of you, Dad. Um, no, I mean... <laughs> it was going to be embarrassing if I had to ask. What? Because, yeah, because I, I called your old boss. He's happy to have you back. Lucky for you, age is no longer a barrier to employment. And you're a good little worker, getting littler all the time. <laughs> I'm 85. <laughs> Yes, and you're right to be proud. No one should be able to throw you on the scrap heap. Now, here's your hard hat and shovel. Come on, come on, they're what waiting for you at the site. I, I don't feel well. That's just nerves. Come on, you'll be fine. Yeah, but, but on, but okay. Oh, look at that. He even left me his walking frame. <laughs> in the bathroom. You summoned me? <laughs> Who are you? I am the genie of the lamp. From Ikea? <laughs> That's right. And I am here to grant you three wishes. Really? Wow. OK. <laughs> uh, I would like ten million pounds, please. It is done. Your second wish? Um, world peace? It is done. And now for your final wish. Right, let me think, let me think. Um, oh, yes, I know. Right, yes. I would like men to stop bullshitting. Ah. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm not a genie. <laughs> Grandpa, Mummy says you used to be very famous. Oh, did she? What did you do? Uh, I was, well, actually, I still am a rock star. Uh, I used to have this persona, uh, Ziggy Stardust. Uh, at other times, I was just plain old David Bowie. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. Grandpa, can you sing us a nursery rhyme? Oh, yeah, sure, which one? Yeah, that one, do that yes, one. Yes, our favourite. Yeah. Uh, isn't there one a little bit more uh, Oh, modern? Grandpa, please. please. It's our favourite. Uh, all right, all right, OK. <laughs> I'm a let's old teapot. <laughs> Shots and stouts! <laughs> here's my handle, here's my spout.
Pest control? Oh, thank goodness you're here. Please, come in. Uh, OK, so uh, you've got an infestation of mice. Yes, mostly in the cellar, but they've been venturing as far as the kitchen. Do you know, I think they're coming in from next door. Right, right. Sounds like what we call a secondary infestation, right. uh, where a few mice stray from the family nest. Yeah, leave oh. this to me. Right, OK. You do use humane methods, don't you? I mean, they won't suffer. Oh, don't worry. You know, I'll have a shufty in the cellar, assess the problem, and then I'll have a little talk to them. OK. <laughs> Sorry, talk? What is that? Oh, is that trade speak for exterminate? Uh, it's not the Middle Ages, love. Uh, and then the rehabilitation process can really begin. Uh, <laughs> this way, is it? Sorry, I'm, I'm not following you. Rehabilitation? Uh, yes, you know, uh, build a rapport, find out what's going on in their lives, their hopes, their fears, their dreams. <laughs> really get to the root of the problem. Uh, I mean, I don't mean to be the pessimist, but I'm guessing there's going to be some serious self-esteem issues going on down in that cellar. <laughs> They're mice. The root of the problem is they're stealing my food and spreading germs. Oh, it's that simple to you, is it? Uh, nobody ever bothers to listen to the mice, do they? It's all about self-confidence. Look, I don't want you to give them therapy. I want to get rid of them. Really? Yes. All right, then. I'll go and get the mouse hammer. The what? <laughs> oh! Yeah, the mouse hammer, yeah, it's a big hammer for hitting mice. Oh, that sounds... Awful. Oh, I don't know. I think if you tried it, you found it's great fun. Yeah. <laughs> I hit 98 mice in one minute once. Yeah. I got a big medal for it. Look. Oh, no, that's horrendous. You can't just hammer them to death. Well, for Pete's sake, make your mind up. Do you want the humane cure or the hammer cure? You can't have the best of both worlds, love. Well, I don't know. Isn't there a middle ground? Like? Oh, I don't know. Can't you talk to them? But firmly. Give them a damn good telling off. Well, like uh, shame them into leaving. I think that'll make a bad situation worse. For the mice, I mean. In a struggle-wise. Yes, yes, OK, OK. Rehabilitation it is. We'll leave the mouse hammer, all right? And you can talk them through this thing. All right, good stuff. Uh, uh, well, actually, before I go down there and confront them, uh, can we uh, settle the bill? Yeah, there you go. Right. What?! That's a fortune! Well, as part of the rehabilitation process, we like to take them on a three-week holiday to a water fun park in Florida. <laughs> Swimming with dolphins and riding log flumes is a really good way of working through some of those issues. Well, there's no way I'm paying for them to go swanning off on holiday. Mouse hammer. Will a check do? Yep. Do you want to tell me what's wrong? I can't. Why? I'm scared. Maybe I can help you not to be afraid. Okay. Okay. I see Jewish people. Jew. Oy vey. 
Who knew? 